Hosting Thanksgiving is a lot of work, and you don't want to spend the entire day in the kitchen. We've got some great hacks that you will be thankful for from Cafe Mom contributor Nasia Walsh. Nasia, good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having me today. Oh, well, thank you. Now, one of the things, the most expensive real estate or valuable real estate is the oven. Absolutely. And you've got some great ideas to help free that up. Well, I think Thanksgiving can be a really stressful time in any household. Mm -hmm. I know myself. I have four kids. Oh. I'm constantly shuffling things around. Mm -hmm. So anytime I can save space right. and not put it in the oven, I'm excited. So okay. we have slow cooker. Slow cooker. Mm -hmm. Very simple. Most people have them in their homes. You can use this to make a lovely green bean casserole. Mm -hmm. You can put your sweet potato casserole in there. Then you can keep all of your foods warm until you're ready to serve them. Brilliant. Okay, right? gravy. This is a oh. the people are trying to get the lumps out of gravy. <laughs> Gravy is kind of the bane of my existence, but mm -hmm. we're going to work through it. So all we have to do is take a little bit of our gravy. We're going to okay. pour it right into the food processor. Oh, okay. And you got nice lumpy gravy right there. Right. All you do is put on the top. Hopefully we can get that on. There we go. And we pulse it. Oh, you're, you're, you've done this before, haven't well, you? I've gotten caught before. <laughs> okay. There we go. Pulse that bad boy up. Mm -hmm. And then we have this luscious, smooth gravy that you can actually keep warm in a thermos. That is brilliant. Right? So you just wow. pour it in, and it'll stay nice and toasty warm until you're ready to serve it to your table. Okay. Now, the other thing, trying to keep everything warm. Yes. And again, you don't want to take up space in the oven. No, you don't. But, you know, we used to use coolers for just keeping drinks cold. Right. But now you can actually use your cooler with some lined tin foil mm -hmm. and place your side dishes right in the wow. cooler. Just like that. That's so smart. I would have never thought of that. Keep them all in there. Close it close up. Close the lid, and you're, you're good, good to go. Okay, flaky pie crust. Now, this is something. Dylan said she does, does and she? I, I never I never heard about this. Well, this is a really nifty tool. So pie crust can be really difficult because it's, a, you know, you're baking. Mm -hmm. But if you substitute uh, vodka or any other liquor, <laughs> really? you can use bourbon for flavor. You can use anything you like. But vodka will actually make your pie crust fluffier, and it will actually be, cr like, a little bit flakier. That's really interesting. So you put it right in here. Mm -hmm. You have to put it, it all in? <laughs> I said we put it all in. We can okay. do it. Put it all in, and you're gonna do half vodka, mm. half water. Okay. Right? Mix it all up. All right. oh, 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 don't oh, spill oh. things. Oh. Don't break things. A couple things. of the crew members <laughs> rush over to try to get this. Okay. <laughs> and there you go. Okay. All and right. And then for fluffy mashed potatoes, what's La your hat? Last but not least. So, a little bit of baking soda goes a long way. Mm -hmm. Adding a pinch of baking soda to your mashed potatoes, it actually works with the cream Ooh. as a leavening agent, and it makes your mashed potatoes. Fluffier. Let's see so so you. Thank Turn you so right much on. and no happy problem. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.